Look how calm the bees are today, guys. It's just a beautiful, it's a perfect day for bee, beekeeping. So this box is packed with everything you want to see as well. A lot of them are going to go back in this box. I imagine tomorrow this box is going to be just slam packed full of bees. It's probably going to have more in it than the other two. All right guys, this triple deep nuke box right here is packed with bees. What a difference a couple of weeks have made. A couple of weeks ago we lost a four deep nuke box similar to this due to starvation, but now the bees are just absolutely loving life. It's, uh, I don't know if you can tell in the video or not, but they're extremely busy. Um, we're starting to see some nectar in some of these hives and uh, brood like crazy. So I'm gonna split this into three hives, at least two, possibly three hives. I cracked open the lid on this a few minutes ago and there's wall-to-wall -wall brood, saw a few eggs. And I know there's many ways to split hives, guys. So this way all the work is gonna be uh, kind of a version of a walk-away split. I don't know if there's any queen cells in here. I really don't know yet, but my goal is to make sure there are, uh, there's brood in every hive. There's some uh, nectar and pollen and some eggs. And if I see a queen cell, I'll try to make sure there's a queen cell in each, each as well. Um, if we happen to see the queen, then that'll be a bonus. Uh, we can make sure we get her in a, in a box without a queen cell. And uh, hopefully she'll continue to lay and do well. And I'm uh, gonna probably try and get most of the bees in the box or boxes that we take away. And these field bees coming in, will be able to fill up the box that's left behind because there are a lot of field bees leaving. You can just see them flying. You know, now this is my backyard that's taking off right over my house, which is right behind the camera. So here we go, let's crack it open. I'll kind of try to show you what we got here. My goal is to make two out of this, possibly three. So we see how it goes. These nuke boxes, guys, um, they're kind of cool. And I'm gonna do, I'll do another video on I just had some made, but I made these uh, back in 2015. I just had some lumber donated to me, some really nice lumber, mahogany and such, so I stained them. They're getting kind of old now, but the bottom and the top are interchangeable and then you can stack them up. So that's how they, that's how they work. And uh, so that's what we're gonna do. But if you can see here, now what you can tell here, quite a few bees in there. Each of these frames is full of bees. Let me get this frame out. And gently lay it on the ground, set it beside the hive here. I'll just show you what this one's doing can see tilted at some different angles there's nectar being placed in there this side too nectar and pollen you can tell look how calm the bees are today guys it's just a beautiful it's a perfect day for bee beekeeping today and the bees are it's loving life as well got a lot of brood on it gosh look how calm these bees are guys seriously they're not even hardly moving they're so calm they're busy happy can you tell? It's hard to see on the camera, it's right in the sun. But I blow them a little bit. And uh, some little tiny larvae in there, nectar around the top of the frame. Some drone cells right there, kind of the bullet looking shaped things are drone cells. And then there's pollen as well. So nectar pollen brood. Uh, drones, everything's on that frame. So if you look right here, see that beautiful white wax around the top? They've just been filling this frame out. Over here, they're just filling it out in the corner. This is that black plastic foundation. In the bottom, they've already got brood in there. So this hive is, is booming. This is kind of similar to that hive that died out, except it was four boxes full and it was just like this. Um, I may have stuck a bottle of feed on here. I'm not sure if I did after that happened. Okay, I probably can't see, but right down here in the bottom, there's some empty cells. At different angles, you may not be able to see it, but I, I think there's some eggs in there for sure. So, if you got eggs, there's probably another queen's in here, first of all. Second of all, they can make a queen out of those eggs when they hatch. And the larvae, they can turn them into a queen. Yeah, there's eggs every cell right down here 
probably can't see it, but <clears throat> anyway, so if I just take this box off and set it on the bottom board and uh, take them away, they should make a queen and mate her. Usually it probably takes a total of about a month to do that by the time they start, by the time the eggs are laid, and then there's nectar all in this, if you can see it, flat, shiny. Okay, so I just wanna make sure each, each box looks kinda of like this. I think we're gonna easily be able to get at least two, maybe three splits out of this. Three out of one. It's a quick and easy way to do it, guys. If I was just doing it by myself, I'd be a little quicker with this, of course, but I'm trying to explain what we're doing as we go along. I really do like doing stuff in nukes. My production hives are pretty much all big tim framers and uh, but the bees really seem to like nukes and it's easy to manage them um, so i'm just going to take this off we could legitimately just take this box the bees that are in it and that could be our first split simple as that but i do want to go through and see if i see any queen cells and i also want to see kind of what the other two boxes are doing all right, so what we have here, I have a frame of brood, nice frame of brood, look in here. Look at this beautiful frame of brood, Got all that brood. This queen is doing a great job. So she's in there obviously too, because we've had some eggs. Around the edge we have some pollen. My guess is there won't be a lot of, there's a little bit of nectar around the corners. I think there'll be a whole lot of nectar in this thing, because I bet they have this box completely full of brood, we'll see. I have to mix and match a few frames around. Another frame, tons of bees. Got some young larvae in here. And there's a few eggs up around the corner. A few drone cells, a little bit of pollen, tiny bit of nectar. Not enough to sustain them though. All right, this one, okay, yeah. There are eggs in every cell in this. And there are actually a few cells that aren't, that seem to be kind of well, they're still building the wax on this one. This is another frame, apparently a foundation I put in here. So this box is packed with everything you want to see as well. Um, I'll definitely, yeah, this is another frame just full of brood. I'm kind of curious to see what's in that bottom box. Sometimes the bees will move up a little bit, but there's not a ton of space in this hive because it's 15, 15 frames, like a box, uh, you know, a deep, a 10 deep and a half, basically a frame. So all these bees she's just laying everywhere she can okay lots of pollen on this one and there's nectar on this one so we could just legitimately just pull this frame off as well and eggs and they should be okay probably going to feed them whatever i do with them at least give them each a quarter a quarter sugar water you got a little nectar up around here in the corner if you can see it next to that there's some pollen lots of pollen on this side so yeah, we're going to pull this one off and turn it into a split as well. I think we're in good shape. And all these cells will hatch out and create hopefully another strong hive. So right here we have two splits. Plenty of bees, I think, will we'll do okay. This is going to be like a tree walk away split, guys. I mean, I'm just going to take these boxes Got eggs in each one. I'll probably take quite a few of these bees and shake them. Got one in my veil or something in my veil. Take quite a few of these bees and shake them in these two boxes here, just to, because all these field bees will come in and increase the population in this, and it'll be jam packed. Yep, that bee's in my veil. She's not mean. She just somehow ended up in there. Maybe she won't sting me. But there is some nectar and some. Uh, some pollen there on that first frame. Not a ton of bees actually on that frame. I'm gonna make sure we have at least a good frame or two of, yeah, so here's some foundation. They haven't done a lot with it, but there is some, a little bit of a brood there. And there's some eggs. The yellow foundation is really hard to see the eggs, but there are some in there. Okay, here we go. We got eggs in here. We got a nice frame of brood here. Some beautiful drone cells. Every, yeah, every cell has either eggs, has something going on, eggs or brood. 
See the drone cells at the bottom? Braid. Look at that braid pattern, guys. So I think we're going to end up with three nice hives out of this. Three nice splits. Three out of one. It's kind of cool. It's fine. Yep, another frame of braid. But these bees are awesome bees, guys. I'm really impressed with them. They're doing a great job. So I'm going to shake the bees off of a couple of these. Um, there's a lot of, actually, there's quite a bit of nectar, quite a bit of pollen in here on this frame. Both sides, a few empty cells. So, so in every single, we don't have any queen cells that I've seen, but in every single box, guys, I've seen eggs, uh, brood, and food source. So we're pretty good, and I will actually feed them each a quart of water when I take them to a new location to get them a head start. But what you hope to see is, you hope to see them immediately, whichever uh, hive, whichever split that the queen is not in, whichever ones they're in, they'll start making emergency queen cells, hatch them out of queen. She'll get mated, and we'll have three nice hives of bees, whichever hive that she's in. We hope that she'll just go ahead and keep on laying and do a good job. So I'm going to gently shake them in this box right here. I'll give a few more population there because, like I say, all those field bees coming back, guys, are going to end up in this box. It's going to be crammed, packed full of bees. See, a lot of those bees are going right back in here, which is okay. Just gently shake. Shake these in here. Just to get the population up. A lot of them are going to go back in this box. I imagine tomorrow this box is going to be just slam packed full of bees. It's probably going to have more in it than the other two. Shake them in here. I'm going to put the lids on those two boxes and block them so that the, uh, the bees can't escape here. And we'll consider it a three out of one, or yeah, three out of one split. I'll just leave this hive here and see what happens with it. I'll add boxes as needed cool thing about these two is you can just put the boxes on upside down like this if you want to. They have an upper entrance and a lower entrance. But to transport them, you can flip the box on here upside down. So I'll put a strap around here and I'll clog up and I'll uh, probably screen or clog up the entrance so they can't get out. Let's see, I'm just going to leave this one alone. Let all the field bees come back in here. Hopefully all three hives will hatch out. Well, the two that don't have a queen will hatch out a nice young queen. And her she get mated. And then the one that has the queen in it, she'll keep laying. Establish a strong colony. So we got three out of one. Once again, guys, like I say, I know that there are many ways to do splits. This is pretty much just a tree walk away split. But I think we'll be okay. We got eggs in each hive, and I'll keep an eye on them. If they don't make a new queen, I can always either put another frame from another hive that's got eggs in it, or a very young larva, or if we have some queen cells, we could put them in there as we check on them. So I'll be checking in these probably in a week's time and just make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to do. And we should see them kind of full of queen cells, the two that didn't have the queen and the one with the queen, we should still see eggs. So guys, if you like this video, if you like my channel, if you please, uh, give me a thumbs up, um, subscribe to it, and hit that subscribe button, the bell will pop up. Please mash that bell as well, uh, ring that bell uh, to receive future videos from me. And uh, hopefully this stuff's informative and educational and entertaining. That's my goal. Y'all can go along this ride with me, learn how to do bees with me, and we'll end up uh, hopefully all learning together uh, through both success and failures. So I'm going to turn this video off, guys. I appreciate it. Y'all, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching Bruce's Bees. Have a good day.